are standing in the main engine hall of Rhubart Station. If you look over my shoulder, you're looking down what I would call the generator bay. So you have this wonderful view of 12 Leroy Samer generators that are mated to those beautiful new Caterpillar G20 CM34 engines. It's the first utility class recip engine plant in the country that meets the needs and expectations of the utility. Grant County was an area that we had a system weakness, if you will, because we had a large load pocket with relatively weak transmission. Rhubart Station being located in Grant County not only filled our long-term resource needs, not only met market needs, not only met environmental needs, but it also complemented other system assets in a way that by locating it here, we actually saved uh, tens of millions of dollars on transmission that otherwise would have had to be constructed. Reciprocated engine technology kind of rose to the top as the technology that seemed to make the most sense for us. This type of technology has several attributes which make it very attractive. Uh, the technology can start very quickly. It can also ramp from minimum to maximum load very quickly and it can do that ramping very efficiently compared to other types of generating technology. This facility has a unique capability to actually look like uh, a lot of facilities. Rather than looking like one 110 megawatt simple cycle gas turbine, should we have gone that route, Rhubart can look like a 10 megawatt gas turbine or a 110 megawatt unit or anything in between. The facilities that we visited that had Caterpillar engines, the people we spoke with, uh, they were very universal in their uh, confidence in Caterpillar. We felt that what Caterpillar would bring to us, again, was that sales, service, and dependability. We reached out, we looked at the big 20 cylinder, knew that it would pay dividends for us, and so that's what we chose. The fact that uh, the Caterpillar had this type of technology was very exciting for mid-Kansas. We had been looking at other suppliers and really there were a very small number of suppliers that had this type of technology at a utility power generation scale. Our experience with Caterpillar power and our coal handling equipment and some of our other equipment that we utilize in other aspects of the business uh, gave us an appreciation for what Caterpillar can do. One of the things that we're most proud of at Rhubart is that we collaborated with Caterpillar and Burns and McDonald to implement what we believe is a first of a kind main controls overlay that gives us uh, an enormous capability that we believe no other reciprocating engine facility has is the ability to offer high efficiency, very low emissions, and virtually no water consumption, whether the resource is being asked to produce 10 megawatts or 110 megawatts. And that's an enormous uh, advantage in the marketplace. We have a lot of wind in our area. Wind is an intermittent resource, which means it cycles up and down as the wind varies. And that can create balancing complexities when you're trying to balance generator output to load. When you have a resource that's going up and down and you have electric demand that's steady, you have to have something to offset that intermittency of the wind. And the fact that the rice technology can do that quickly and efficiently makes it optimal for this area and the fact that we have a lot of wind. This plant will be used to boost the generation when the voltage gets low anywhere in the Southwest Public Power Pool, this plant will be called on to pick up the voltage and fill in a void when other power plants go down or disaster happens. It's really kind of a safeguard for our, our total electric system in the Southwest Power Pool District. So it's, it's a very important plant. Working with Caterpillar has been extremely exciting for me. Uh, the folks at Caterpillar, their mission, their goals, their objectives, they line up with us at Mid-Kansas made for a great team. And in having that great team and putting that together, there was always this trust and honesty that developed between us. Uh, the group at Caterpillar, no matter how stressful it might have got due to weather and due to construction, they never lost sight of completing the facility, giving us and our members a facility that they could be very proud of. They were very dedicated to the success of this project for Mid-Kansas, as we were. You know, they, they always put their best foot forward. Anybody that knows the Caterpillar name realizes that Caterpillar represents excellence in building large equipment.
I was here when uh, we when we put gas to the first engine and just uh, seeing that uh, successfully complete its commissioning process. That's when you know all the pieces are coming together. We implemented, I think, a lot of technological innovations here. Not only Caterpillar's new introduction of their 20-cylinder engine into the marketplace, but the controls overlay that I mentioned earlier, I think gives Caterpillar's facility here a unique advantage in the marketplace that would not be uh, commonly seen at any other engine facility in North America, if not in the world. Rubart was is permitted for an additional 110 megawatts of generating capability, so we're permitted for double what we have installed currently. We also have adequate land and space to install an additional 12 engines if we want to, and we're continuing to evaluate that potential expansion against other uh, generating resource options that we have as part of our ongoing resource planning activities. Being able to see this facility come from the ground up, iron in the ground, the equipment coming in the hall, and the whole project coming together as a whole to hearing the first engine turn over and run was a great satisfaction for me. The preliminary information is extremely encouraging. Uh, we believe, again, these particular engines will be competitive with some of the best available in the marketplace and have every confidence that uh, the facility will be performing as designed and as expected and that Caterpillar will be there for us for decades to come.